here you can see that we are actually cutting the drain pipe. We mark it by using a level setting on the edge of the bead or a two before on the edge of the bead so that we can get them flat. Then we glue it in making special care to not get glue in the upper part of the coupler because the plug we will be using later is not glued in. Okay, and that piece I cut off, reach in and get me a cap right there. And we're going to make a lid for that by putting the cap right on there. So I'll glue that on as well. Now I glue it in the upside down position because when we put it in action, it'll go down in here and I do not want any glue to get in that fitting. This fitting will be one that you can take out to drain it, okay? And you don't push it in very hard, just set them in because they will get tighter and tighter with water pressure on top of them. Okay, at this point, we're going to go ahead and put our silicone on. We will put a bead of silicone all the way around the tire on the bead and then use a finger and smear it. The silicone adheres pretty nicely and the concrete will just smash right into the uh, fresh silicone. The other thing I put around the pipe, each of the pipes, we can put it down here, but we'll also put one up here on the top. And I sometimes just get it gooped on there because I'm going to use my finger as much as I don't like to. It just, you wear silicone for a week. You want just a continuous seal all the way around those. My guess is it's going to take more than six bags. It may take the seven or eight bags. The reason I say that is because we have a little depth underneath our tire where I'm standing. If you uh, didn't have any depth in there, you can get them down to five and six bags. We're going to mix concrete. He's got all kinds of stuff here, but I tell you we mix in the front end of the bucket. This little fiber like this, it is the same stuff. In fact, I buy it from the ready mix plant. I buy enough for, in each bag, uh, one yard of concrete which is equivalent to oh like 40 or 42 bags of sacrete but that's what this stuff is and we will put about a handful like this per bag of sacrete if we put a little extra in it doesn't hurt but this is just nice and what it does it replaces the steel that a lot of people put in concrete put six bags in the bucket I tend to put plenty of fiber in. Fiber is cheap. It costs five to seven dollars to add fiber to a yard of concrete. And we've got enough for 40 bags for that seven dollars. Mix it with water. You can put about four gallon of water in with this to start with. put it in here and if we need a seventh bag or an eighth bag we mix those individually. At this point I'm ready to put the concrete in. Notice I do have my gum boots on because you know you may get some of that on me but we'll see what happens. When I start I throw it underneath the bead. I 
try to throw it back underneath as far as I can because that's where it's going to need to be. There's not much art to this part of it. I want to be up on here and I want it even with right there. So yeah, I think we're gonna need just about, <laughs> maybe a half a bag, I don't know. But uh, we'll probably make a bag or, it is so close. While they make that, we will probably vibrate and vibrate it back down in. Okay. Yeah, we need just a little. Okay, start the. Yeah, I better get a bag because it's going down. An alternative to using the reciprocating saw would be to use a sledgehammer or any heavy hammer or a post driver to to bounce on the sidewall there to work that concrete down underneath the tire. And now we're ready for enough concrete to finish it. As you, as you see, we said we wanted about a half an inch of this showing, and I think we're good there. And the bead is right there, um, of the, the coupler is right there. I can try to pull it away, but this wet concrete on top will run back to it a little bit, but it's right there to make sure it's good. Often bump the, bump the pipes to make sure that the, concrete is adhered to them and at that point I would say we're almost done one thing I should have done earlier was take this out I need to take that out so that we can run water in here I've got pipe wrench in my toolbox now that we have the concrete in the tire leveled troweled off we're ready to do the final step which is adding about two inches of water to the top. You can notice that I have an elbow on the top of my nipple coming in with a short piece of pipe to direct the water out onto the surface of the tire. That's important so you do not scour or erode a spot in the top of the the tire. Here in a little bit it will start to come over the top of the surface and at that point we will uh, let it continue until it gets about two inches deep. Some of my comments would be that I tell people that before their wife gets there to put their initial in the concrete you put water on top of it. There you can see the surface of the, the concrete is now all covered. We will add another couple inches of water and stop. It would hold water if you filled it all the way to the top. But that just adds additional weight to the top of the concrete. And if there were to be any void underneath 
then it would cause the concrete to fracture, leak out, and you would need to take the concrete out and report. it. That's the reason that I only put uh, a couple inches on. Technically, only a half an inch of water would be all that is necessary. Directing the water to the side like that is very important. Okay, I think that's about uh, an inch, inch and a half. Any time now, we can shut it off and we will call this project complete. We will wait about one week for the concrete to cure before we will put the valve on the nipple coming through.